Hello, it's Gary Gibbons, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to make a synth based preset when using the Spectral Engine. I have the sample called Low Multi Sol 1 loaded, and I'm going to go to the Switch Oscillator Type button here and select the Spectral Engine. When I play C3, it sounds like this with the loop already activated. Next, I'm going to show you how it sounds when I change the values for the cutoff, the filter envelope, the filter attack, decay, sustain, and release to achieve a modern sounding synth based sound. First, I'm going to go to the cutoff and I'm going to change the value to 100 Hertz. Then I'm going to change the envelope value to a larger amount. I'm going to go to the filter key follow and change the value to a higher percentage to hear more frequencies in the higher octaves. Okay, now I'm going to change the sustain level to 0%. Next, I'm going to go to the resonance and raise the value. I want to play a different section of the sample, so I'm going to go to the position parameter and change the value to 43%. Now I'm going to go to column one in the matrix and under modulation source, I'm going to add velocity. Then under modulation destination, I'm going to add cutoff. Then I'm going to change the modulation depth value to 50. I'm going to go to the amp envelope and change the sustain values and decay time. First, I'm going to change the sustain level value to zero. And since we have shortened the sustain level, I want to increase the decay time to 5000 milliseconds. And now I want to change the release time to 100 milliseconds. Okay, now I want to go back to the filter envelope and change the attack time. Now I want to go to the number of voices and change the value from 1 to 2. I want to mention that if you keep increasing the number of voices to a higher value, it will use more system resources, okay? So now to achieve some movement, I'm going to go to the LFO3 and grab the drag icon and drag it to the cutoff. Wow. 
Next, I'm going to change the sync mode to tempo and change the retrigger to on. Okay, so now we have some movement for our sound and I'm going to go to the LFO3 shape parameter here and I'm going to change the value from zero to 50% so I can achieve a different type of rhythm. Okay, now I'm going to change the shape value back to zero and I'm going to change the waveform from sine to sol. Okay, with this setting, it sounds like there is more definition in the rhythm and at the end of the beat, the cutoff is more abrupt. If I want to hear a less abrupt result, all I need to do is go to the modulation depth and change the value to a lesser amount. If I want my movement to be harsh sounding when the LFO is triggered, all I need to do is change my modulation depth value to a higher amount. And of course, if I want to change the rate, all I need to do is go over here and change the rate value. Okay, now let's play around with the waveform and shape values. I don't want the movement to trigger all of the time, so I'm going to go add aftertouch in the modifier. Now I'm going to show you how to add some vibrato to our bass sound. I'm going to go to the LFO1 tab, then drag the drag icon to the pitch section. Now I'm going to change the rate to 5 Hz and the modulation depth value to 0.41. I'm going to go to the modifier and add mod wheel. Okay, now I want to give some variety to our bass preset in the way it's played. So, in column 4, I'm going to add velocity. Then under modulation destination, I'm going to add filter attack. Then I'm going to change the modulation depth value to 50. So to make this work nicely, I'm going to change the attack time back to zero. Now when the velocity is at its maximum peak, the attack value is at a higher amount, making the sound fade in with a different filter setting. I'm going to give the sound a bit more bite by changing the purity value to minus 
All right, I'm going to change the velocity value to 30%. And I'm going to change the attack time to 12 milliseconds. Okay, let's have a listen. Okay, so there's our sound, and I'm ready to save my newly created preset. So all I need to do is select Save Program and choose the folder to save my preset. If I want to create another sound from these settings, all I need to do is click the Select Sample icon and scroll through the subfolder samples to find a sample that sounds interesting. Then after I load my sample, I'll tweak my settings, and then I can save my new preset. Take care. Cheers.